Hi everyone. Seth Alchemist here. First of all, I would like to thank you for your subscriptions, for your likes, for your comments. It truly means a lot to me. I really, really appreciate your support. And I'm very, very happy if the readings resonate with you or help you in any shape or form along your spiritual growth, along your journey of discovering who you are, finding out who you are, and just growing spiritually in general. Today is a tarot reading. It's a pick a pile reading. It's a message from your higher self. What is the higher self? The higher self is your greatest version, your highest version. That version of you that is powerful, that has already unlocked all the gifts or the abilities. The version of you that sees the better choices, the better conditions that are beneficial for you. When you learn how to tap in, in this version of you, your higher self, you can call it whatever you want, but let's refer to it as higher self right now. When you tap into it, then you start to live in alignment, in alignment with everything that is necessary for you in your life, in alignment with the things that will lead you to fulfilling your mission, finding your purpose, becoming your greatest version in general, spiritually and physically as well. So I'm going to ask you to pick one of these two piles, these beautiful piles that I have here. One that I'm holding here, the Hermetic Tarot deck, and this other beautiful deck. So feel free to pick the one that resonates the most with you. And I'm going to start with the Hermetic Tarot deck. This one here. What does your higher self want you to know? What's the message? I'm just going to channel whatever comes from your higher self. The first card that showed up here, the universe, the world card, upright. Okay, it's the first card. Incredible. Wow. Major Arcana, world card, upright. And so we got actually two major arcanas here, but the second major arcana was the emperor reversed. So the message that came from your higher self here is that the world is open for you right now. The universe is backing you up. It's on your side. It wants you to do great. It wants you to do amazing things. It's on your side. You know that. Um, quote from Paulo Coelho that says uh, in, in the book of the alchemist where it says if you want to do something the whole universe conspires to help you and to be on your side something along these lines that's what this card means for you right now that means that if you have any project that you're thinking about or any idea or anything that you've been uh, thinking of engaging in this is the right time to do it because the universe is going to be backing you up. It's going to help you. It's going to support you. And this is coming directly from your higher self. And your higher self never lies because your higher self is directly connected to you. Your spirit guides, your guardian spirits, guardian demons, they're on and off. Sometimes they're around you. Sometimes they're not because they have their own thing to take care of as well. Whereas your higher self is connected directly to you. You can always tap into it 24-7. And this is a message coming directly from your higher self. That means that this is a real statement, as in just go with whatever you want to do right now. If you've been thinking about it, do it. And the reason why is because you are the emperor reversed. You've been, um, um, you've been hiding, you've been oppressing all of these um, gifts and abilities that you have, all of these uh, uh, talents and ideas that were preventing you from being the emperor because it's you the emperor reverse here means that 
you weren't able to become the emperor. The emperor, this glorious, majestic person that has an empire and that rules his own kingdom and his own empires. You were struggling to unlock how to unlock, how, how to, you were struggling to unlock this, this emperor side of you. So now is the time to uh, engage in any ideas or any, uh, um, if you have any intuition or inspiration that comes to you, do it. Because that's going to lead you to accessing your emperor state. It's going to lead you there. And we have, this is the Five of Pentacles. Here, basically, this card is connected to this card. They're connected together. The universe is backing you up right now. It's trying to help you so we can allow you to make more financial abundance, allow you to connect to earth, allow you to feel more of who you are because you've been lost for a while. You haven't really felt that side of you that's powerful. And the universe is helping you. And this is connected to building your empire. It's connected to your financial freedom. It's connected to making money. So whatever it is that's on your mind, something new, some kind of action that you've been thinking about, go ahead and do it. And you know, the law of attraction doesn't happen unless there's action, because it's the law of attraction. There's action in the word attraction itself. So it's time to take that action for manifesting anything you want. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands. This idea you have, this, your, your uh, higher self is telling you that it's going to bring you value. It's going to take you into the unknown, which is beautiful. Don't be scared of the unknown. And the unknown is usually where you find the answers. It's where you thrive. It's where you reach limits and levels you have never reached before. So your higher self is telling you, don't be scared. Everything is going to be okay. If you act on this idea that you have on your mind, it might lead you to the unknown. It might feel scary, but there is nothing to be scared of. And we have the six of swords here. Um, again, there's this kind of theme here. If we connect this card and this card right here, the universe is really uh, here saying through your, your higher self that you're, you're kind of, you're really scared to take, to take action or to move on with this thing that you want to do. You're very scared, like you don't want to do it. You feel like, no, if I do this, my whole life is going to be destroyed. But it's not. Because this is the energy that's coming up. Even here at the bottom of the deck, you know, there, there's the five of swords again. So all of these kind of, I feel this, this murky energy, this kind of fearful energy. This was at the bottom of the deck right here. And right underneath it, I'm going to show you right what was underneath. So this, three of, uh, five of swords. And here we have five of swords, five, six, seven. Five of swords, six of swords, seven of wands. You see this alignment that came here? But look what's underneath the five of swords. There was the sun card. That means that your higher self is trying to tell you, so much fear, so much confusion, so much hesitation. And you're like, no, I can't do this. There's no way I can do this because I'm not sure what's going to happen if I take on this project or if I take action on it, I might lose everything. But spirit is saying no. Your higher self is saying the sun card, beautiful days, happiness, joy, is going to come out of you taking action on this. And I kid you not, right on the sun, Right underneath it was the Empress. So, the Sun, the Empress, and in the beginning, the universe, the world, all upright. This is when I come out. Um, and again, I want to show also here, this. you have the Empress and the Emperor. The Emperor was reversed here in the beginning. So we started with the Empress, uh, with the Emperor reversed. But if you take action and follow your higher self, follow your intuition, you're going to become the Empress upright. So you're going to reach that state. You're going to reach that state 
where you're going to dominate, where you're going to become who you truly are. That's the message from your higher self. So go on, take action. Everything is going to be amazing. Don't be scared. You're feeling scared. You're feeling confused. You're terrified of this thing, but everything is going to be just fine. And I'm going to move on to the next pile, which is this pile right here. Um, for the first pile, everything is going to be okay. You guys are are really scared of this thing. I can I can I can sense the energy. You guys are scared of moving on with this thing. But if it's been lurking in your mind and you've been thinking about it over and over and over, and you see always good signs about it, it means your higher self is telling you go for it because the future that's ahead. If you pick, if you go with this thing that's in your mind, the future is amazing, as what the cards were showing. All right, so this pile, what does your higher self has to say? First card I pulled, the tower reversed. Great, good beginning. There's no tower going on here, okay? All right, interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. The bottom, I want to show you the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Again, the sun card. See the sun? Can you read it at the bottom? You see the number there? It's the sun card. Similar to the first pile, okay? I just want to show you the bottom of the deck first. Because in the first pile, the sun card was also at the bottom of the deck. So, let me decipher the message coming from your higher self, because this is very interesting. So we had the first card that came up here was the tower card reversed. And then we have the second card that came up is the high priestess reversed. And then the six of cups. With the sun at the bottom. So here, what your higher self is trying to tell you that you're in this phase in your life. That's not easy. It's quite hard. It's a lot of problems. It's a lot of hurdles. It's um, it's a lot of um, challenges that you're going through right now. It could be here based off the cards. It could be like um, the, the energy that I'm feeling is it could be at your job. Like what came to me is just your job, your work, your work life. You're going through a lot of challenges. And you think this is so dangerous and this is um, not aligned with your path. You think you're wondering, you talk to spirit, you talk to your higher self. You're always asking your higher self questions. Why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to me? What's going on? Why do I have to go through this? This is too much. And you're confused because according to you, you're doing everything right. But again, according to you, everything is not right. So your higher self, this is a message that's coming from your higher self because for you, spirit is saying you're not listening to your higher self. You're not connected to your higher self. So your higher self is sending you messages. It's sending you these uh, intuitive messages, but you're not listening. Your higher self is saying there's nothing bad going on with you. There's nothing wrong going on with you. You're making up all of this in your head. You're over worrying, over stressing out for no reason. And that's why the tower card is reversed. And this over worrying, this stress is making your high priestess state reversed. You're the high priestess. But over worrying, over stressing, being worried about everything, thinking that there's 10,000 problems is not making you the high priestess anymore. 
this high priestess that which you are. So your higher self is saying, it's time to let these worries go. Like this beautiful eagle, see that white eagle flying so high with the flame underneath it, the element of fire. You need to fly high and let these things in the past, let them go. They're not who you are. They're not serving you right. This is low frequency, bad energy that's keeping you stuck at the bottom. So it's time to let it go. These worries you're thinking about, they don't even exist. You think they exist, but you create them or you put the emphasis on them or you keep thinking about them and they manifest because you're powerful. So your thoughts do manifest. That means if your thoughts are negative, if your thoughts are always problematic, that's what's going to manifest for you. So your overthinking, your over worrying keeps manifesting for you every single day. Your higher self is saying, transmute this energy like a mage, like an alchemist. Transmute this energy into something positive. Like this. See the transmutation here. We have the fire, which is in alchemy, the third stage, which is the reddening, rubedo, where you find your philosopher's stone. It's where you coagulate and you ascend from the ashes and the color is red. This card represents for me here in this reading, the third stage of alchemy and the last one, which is completing the transmutation and ascending to spirit like this bird. This is what your higher self is trying to tell you. You have to transmute this negative, dark energy that's actually just keeping you. It's keeping you in lower frequencies. And it's going to keep manifesting. As long as you're attached to it, it's going to keep manifesting. The more you think about it, the more it's going to manifest. The more you always wonder why this is happening to you, why this is, it's going to manifest. So your higher self is saying, sun, the sun, try to transmute this negativity into happiness, into joy, into beauty, into the things that make you happy. Why are you attached to the things that make you feel sad and depressed? Why? Your higher self is asking you why. Don't you want to enjoy life? And you have to be careful. Another message I'm hearing here is that this energy can become addictive. Our minds can become addicted to negativity because it gives you a certain high, just like addictions, just like alcohol or drugs or whatever. That, that high you get from feeling depressed and feeling like you're stressed out and you start like sometimes losing your temper, that gives you a certain high. And this is sign, it, it's been proven scientifically with research that has been done on people who have these kind of, um, uh, for example, depression or, or they're always like stressed out, they're always thinking negatively. Studies have found that it's an, a kind of addiction because it gives a certain high in your mind. You feel satisfied every time you feel worried. You feel satisfied every time you feel anxious or angry or something like that. But this have really bad consequences for you, for your health, for your spirit, for your soul, for your existence, because you're going to keep manifesting the same bad behavior. Spirit is saying transmute the energy. Transmute it into the sun. As a matter of fact, go and gaze in the sun. I mean, don't look at it directly, but spend some time in nature when it's sunny. Soak up some sun and try to transmute this energy. Try to feel happy. Try to focus on the things that make you feel happy. Try to do the things that make you feel good. Life is short. You Trust me, you want to feel good while you're alive. And most of the th humans do they, they do go they do go through a lot of of problems. I'm not gonna deny that. And life is hard and life is tough. But a lot of these problems are made up by the humans themselves. I don't deny that the problems do exist and they're challenging in their heart, but many of them only you create in your head. So please, your higher self is saying, be happy. Maybe this sounds like a, 
uh, you know, like a corny sentence, be happy. But if for you it's too corny, maybe think about it as try to do the things that make you feel good. Try to keep your mind and energy, give your energy to the things that make you, make you feel good, that make you feel happy. Okay? And a couple more cards before I end the reading. We have the King of Cups. Again, just look at, look at the interpretation in this, of this card. Look at this. We have, we have here again that bird. See that bird that was flying there? That's like, again, another eagle. It's like unleash what, how I see, you see, you see this uh, beautiful light right here? You see that beautiful light? Again, that's, this represents the transmutation in alchemy. You're holding that bird, that's, that's, that, that's, that's you. Let's say this is your, uh, that's the duality aspect of existence. This is the divine masculine, this is, a, this is the divine feminine. This is just my interpretation. This bird you're holding right here, it's your freedom. It's your joy, it's your happiness, it's your alchemical transformation. And you're holding it, so you have to let it go so it can fly into this light. Okay? And one last card. The Nine of Cups. Your higher self wants you to just indulge and practice anything that makes you feel amazing. You know, it could, if it's the occult, if you watch my videos a lot or any other occult channels, and if you're always practice the occult and you're always fascinated by this stuff, do it. See these drawers? It's what's hidden for you. And what's on the top of the drawer? The magic, the lamp, the genie's lamp, the djinn, where the djinn will come up, the guardian demon. That's what's awaiting you. But first you have to pull these drawers. This is a, let's call this like a magical uh, drawer chess. And you have to open the drawers first. That means doing the research, indulging in what you love. And once you open these drawers and um, apply your energy and apply yourself to all of these things that you love, these things that fascinate you, and you shouldn't care about what others think or say about you. You don't live for other people, you live for yourself. You didn't come here to this life to live for others. That's why I keep saying this to all, all the time to people. Dress in whichever way you want, say whatever you want, but be respectful, don't be hurtful, okay? Because again, we don't wanna go too far to the, the crazy side where you're just doing things that don't make any sense. You have to be balanced again. Because the masters, the sages, they're balanced. So live for yourself. Do what makes you feel happy. Especially if you want to help others. Make yourself first happy. Help yourself. And then you can help others. Open these drawers. See what's in these drawers for you. Explore them. And you're going to find all of these beautiful things that make you happy. And then the genie's lamp is going to activate. It's like activating your spirit. Okay, this is what I have for you. This is a great reading. I hope it helped. Let me know in the comment section if this reading was helpful. I go through your comments. I read them. Thank you very much again. And I'll see you in the next reading.